I thought I'd do a little video. I haven't done one for ages and it's beautifully sunny and I'm in a good mood, so why not? Anyway, this is all about coffee. So my DNA report, my 200 page DNA report um, is based on red arrows for avoid and green arrows for do more of. And as you will see from the blood, alcohol is a big no-no, but actually genetically I am deficient in folic acid and vitamin B6 and B12. So by taking those um, as supplements and in food, I'm helping myself and uh, all the cocktails I had last winter when my cancer was going up in Tenerife. Yeah, that wasn't helping, uh, but I had fun, so I don't care. Um, but anyway, that's how the DNA report works. It also says, you might think, well, what's that got to do with coffee? It also says um, on a lot of these things, brain, I don't know if you can see this, but coffee. And further down the line in this report, it says that I can drink pretty much as much coffee as I like. My body can process it really well. But the trouble is I'm a bit hyper as a person. And then if I drink a lot of coffee, I can't sleep. So how to get around this? Mushroom coffee. Now I've been, I don't really like mushrooms that much. And I've been sort of avoiding this for quite a while. And Pete Sage keeps telling me to get it and I keep not getting it. But I got some. And I thought, well, for the latter part of the day, if I have mushroom coffee instead, then it will, it won't stop me sleeping. Um, and actually, it's really nice. It only cost a few quid from Nutrilic. There's loads out there. Do your research. Um, but this, it's an instant coffee, and it tastes just like coffee. So, um, and I do it with hot almond milk or oat milk. And um, for the latter part of the day, that's what I use. So just another discovery that I thought I'd share with you. Have a lovely day.